video, I'm just going to show you very quickly how to make an image picker present. So if you want to use this in uh, your machine learning project or any other projects, just a very quick video to, to revise this content and show you a really simple solution. So you can select a single view application under iOS, click next. Uh, we can of course call this image picker demo. Uh, it's not Swift UI, we're going to choose storyboard. Uh, the language you're using is Swift, and we don't need core data at this point. Click Next. I'm going to save this to my desktop. When we're dealing with images or asking people for any user input, we need to make sure that we update our plist. Uh, so we're going to add two items to this. The first one is for uh, camera usage. Usage description. Uh, it's going to be a string. And we're also going to use the photo library. So we want to, again, we call privacy and this will just prompt the user. Uh, every time they want to uh, select an image. Okay, so once we've uh, set up our plist, we're going to go to our main storyboard. So inside of this project, we're going to have an image view. And we're going to have a button, which will trigger picture. I'm just going to change the icon of this to be a image. I'll make it large size just so it's easy to select. And then we need to create some references to our code from our interface. Let's do that now, give myself a bit more space. Okay, so we need to have an outlet for our image view. So I'm going to press control and drag over to my code and I'm going to select uh, type in image view and it's an outlet okay and then underneath my view did load I'm going to add an action for my button call this btn uh, image picker Okay, and then when I press this, this is when the action is going to happen. So before we get started, we also need to conform to some delegates. Uh, so I'm going to make sure we have those now. So UI, image picker control delegate, and UI navigation control delegate. Okay, these will be used uh, throughout our program. So when we click by our button, and create a picker, which will be a UI image picker control type. Uh, I'm then going to allow cropping of my image, so picker allows editing equals true. And then we'll set this to a delegate. And we'll present our view. Okay, last thing we need to do is to control our image. So we'll look at a new function called image picker controller. Um, actually, if we just type did finish picking media, this will handle it for us. This is just going to dismiss our view. So let's create a guard. So this is a UI image.
and then we'll set that image view image to equal the image that we got from our selection and then we can dismiss our pickup okay so we're now going to give this a run I'm going to select an iPhone 11 uh, the same view that I have here So when I press my button, my image picker will appear, select my image, this is the allows editing section, choose and it will display inside my image view. So it's a very simple example of how you can use an image picker.